Hi YouTube, Crypto Caden here, and today I'm going to be bringing you all 5 advanced tips for Gala Games' new mobile game, Dragon Strike. The game doesn't actually have too much information out there on the internet from what I've seen, so I think these will be useful to you all as you're trying to build out the best teams you can in the game. So, let's get right into it. Tip number 1. Focus on maxing out 3 star heroes first before you do 4 and 5 star heroes. The reason this is important is because when you first start out the game, or even in the first 10 levels, it can be a while till you're going to have the resources to max out 4 star heroes and especially 5 star heroes. You won't start getting axes till around level 12 or so I believe, and swords even later, which are required to promote 4 and 5 star heroes. You'll be able to gather hammers and other resources which will promote 3 star heroes though, and have a much easier time max leveling those characters till you're at a point in the campaign where you can more easily get the resources to max out higher star characters. Tip number two, upgrade your hero's abilities. While you're leveling up your characters, you'll notice that if you click on certain heroes to train them, you'll see a percentage go up each time. That percentage is the chance you'll be able to level up your hero's ability. So while a hero may level up, it isn't guaranteed their ability will too. Whenever you promote a character, it will automatically level up their ability. However, you can only promote a limited number of times, much less than the 10 total max levels your hero hero's ability can reach. If you fully want to max out a character's potential, you need to focus while training them on leveling up their abilities. And you can give yourself a better chance by using higher star heroes of the same typing to help level them up. Generally, I try to aim to have about a 30% chance or higher at leveling them up, and if I do that enough times where I know in addition to the promotions, I should be able to max out their ability levels when I can no longer promote them and when they are at max level. One extra tip on this, if you train a character with the exact same character, it will increase the chances of that ability level up to 50% with just that character. Once you level yourself up enough to make 3 star heroes more readily available for yourself, you'll have a much easier time leveling up the abilities by using the same character to train them. Tip number three, bless your cards. You may notice sometimes that some people you play against have a holographic like background for their character's cards. This happens when a player blesses their hero or dragon. Whenever you obtain a tomb for a hero or a collar for a dragon, you're able to bless one of these characters of your choosing and give that character a 10% boost to all their stats. It's very powerful and it's very good for trying to build out a strong team for yourself. However, it's important to note this is definitely a more advanced tip as you won't be able to start receiving the items to bless these characters until around level 12 unless you get lucky and get one in the casino or if you buy one in the item shop. Tip number 4. Use Tournament Champion and Dragon Slayer Heroes You may have noticed some characters have this symbol to the bottom right of their picture on their card that looks kind of like a wolf and a multiplication symbol in a number. That designates them as either a Tournament Champion or a Dragon Slayer character. The benefit in this is they're able to have a higher boost to their attacks in certain events and tournaments, but even outside those events and tournaments, they're generally stronger characters. As you can see going through here, through a couple characters, the 5 star heroes that are tournament champion or dragon slayers are generally ranging around 3500 might at max level. However, the regular heroes are generally around 3000 to 3100 might instead. If you want the strongest possible team, using tournament champion and dragon slayer heroes is very essential. However, one thing to note, especially for those just starting out, is that it is a bit harder to promote these types of characters as their promotion materials you can't obtain in the campaign. You can only obtain these through silver promotion chests, casinos, or the marketplace. Tip number five, save your gems. The game gives you the option to use your gems to purchase small items or to finish construction quickly, but talking to many veterans in the global chat, they all recommend that the best way to utilize your gems is one of two ways. You can use them to buy legendary heroes or dragons in bulk, which is good when you're just getting started with not too many heroes and it will save you a good chunk of gems by having the patience to buy them all at once, or the second way is to use all of the gems to buy strike packs. These packs contain specific tournament champion or dragon slayer heroes, which as we talked about before are more powerful than regular heroes. You buy these packs in levels so you will need a lot of gems to get the 5 star heroes. However, sometimes it can be a very specific hero which is very good for what you need, or you'll want to buy the 5 star character because it's very rare. 
So just keep an eye out for which character is being featured that week and if it's a type of character that would do very well with your team or is a very good fit, it could definitely be worth your gems to buy them. So that's five advanced tips for Dragon Strike to help you develop a great team and progress through the game. A lot of this info I actually got just by talking to veterans in the game on the global chat. And everyone in this game is very friendly, so be sure to talk to people if you're having any questions or a tough time with something in the game. Also while you're at it, be sure to join my guild on Dragon Strike, the Gala Knights, which is known by the acronym on there KNTS. Feel free to also leave a comment here if there's anything you also want to know or have questions about too. And while you're at it, be sure to like and subscribe if this video helped you. It's a great help to me as a small creator when people do this, and I really appreciate the support. Thanks for watching, and I hope you all have a great day.